Hi Aries, welcome to your reading for July 2021. This is going to be a love reading and it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation but you can check out one of your other signs if you want or you can get a personal reading. Also keep in mind that because it's general the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see what is going on with Aries for July 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you do want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Okay, so Aries, for your situation, we have the Magician crossed by the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so there's something here that either you're trying to manifest or your person is trying to manifest, um, but I feel like whoever it is that is trying to bring something into reality, trying to make something happen, it could be that this person is having a hard time um, putting in that effort or providing enough, enough energy or enough um, just practical effort that needs to be made in order to manifest this. So I feel like that is the issue in this connection here. Let's take a look at the recent past. We have death and for the near future, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, good. So it does feel like maybe something has ended, something has transformed, something felt different um, that brought about a change to this connection. I feel like it is an ending, so it could be that you are currently in separation because of the situation, all right? So again, there's an ending here, possibly some kind of a fallout, but somebody still wants to manifest this connection. It's just that they need to put in a little more effort, which I actually do see coming up in your, in your near future here. So let's see what is the energy for you. We have the Ten of Wands. Let me just move them over a bit. For them, we have the sun. More for you is the ace of cups. For them, we have the ten of pentacles. And a potential outcome here is the page of cups. Okay, so this is a situation that you're feeling very exhausted and you're feeling very tired. You're feeling like this is just not going anywhere. And it's gotten to the point where I feel like you have... Maybe you have tried, if this is you, um, to make things work here or to find some kind of a solution and you feel like you're like at your wit's end. However, there's still a lot of love here that you hold for this person. For them, so I don't know who it is that is trying to manifest here that hasn't been putting in enough um, effort. Could be you or it could be them. It's still not very clear. But for them, I'm seeing them trying to find their um, what it is that makes them happy and I feel like this is how they feel about you because we also have the ten of pentacles here so there's something here this this other person is wanting a commitment this other person is definitely wanting things to be stable and I see a conversation coming up here as the potential outcome really having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation so let's actually start clarifying to see what this is about So let's clarify the Magician crossed by the Page of Pentacles. All right, we have the Five of Wands, the Page, sorry, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so whoever, whoever this is that is trying to bring this connection back together or trying to really manifest a solution here. I feel like this person is very conflicted. Um, there could be some some influence from other people possibly that is affecting them in a negative way and I feel like part of the issue is that this person is not very consistent. So they, it's like they give a little bit, right? So there's something that they're providing here. They're putting in some kind of an effort, but then they might change directions and it's a little bit of going back and forth. It almost feels like even though there is this sense of wanting stability, wanting, I would even say marriage, 
but or maybe you are married okay whatever the case I do feel like there is this energy of a very strong um, union a very strong bond here okay between the two of you but this person who's trying to manifest is it's like as soon as they hit a wall or as soon as there's a little bit of conflict or something seems difficult or there's some kind of disagreement or there's something that is not really aligning 100% they kind of turn directions they, they they'll change like very quickly almost like giving up very easily because of some kind of a conflict as soon as they hit a wall and then they come back and they give a little bit more and then they hit a wall again so it's all a matter of really being able to consistently put in that effort in order to resolve whatever the issue is here so I mean this this could even be for the both of you maybe the both of you kind of um, stop trying when as soon as there is a conflict as soon as there is a disagreement or it could just be one or the other let's clarify the ten of wands in your energy all right we have the three of pentacles the nine of wands and the king of swords okay so i mean roles can be reversed but what i'm seeing here is that it feels like you you have been making an effort here. You feel like you have been trying to um, compromise. You've tried to try to make things work, meet halfway, teamwork. Um, really trying to, to to give your share of energy to this connection. Maybe you've even tried to help this person out with whatever the issue is here. But I feel like it didn't really bring about the results and this is why we also have we have the nine of wands and we have the ten of wands here because things just feel so challenging for you in this connection that you're just exhausted basically you feel like there's no point in even continuing on and so you're in this energy of just really putting your foot down and saying you know what I've had enough You still feel the love though. You still feel a deep connection with this person. There's still emotions here, all right? Having that Ace of Cups. But let's see what is going on with them. Let's clarify the sun. All right, the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Lovers. Yeah, so this person definitely still has a lot of emotions for you as well. Okay, they're definitely seeing this as a very powerful connection. I feel like there's just a lot of disagreements, a lot of conflict between the two of you. This is causing them a lot of pain. And whatever it is, I mean, there is some healing here, okay, with the Four of Swords. So maybe this person is um, keeping their distance at the moment. I do see some passivity. But during this process, all right, it's, it's like they are finding out some kind of a truth about their own self, about the connection. They're really trying to find what it is that could fulfill this relationship what is it that could make this relationship work because they're seeing you as their son they're seeing you as as being their truth as being the person that they want to be with basically i mean the sun is one of the most positive cards in the deck so i feel like this person is actually very optimistic at the same time even though they are undergoing a lot of pain um it's almost coming through as this person cannot imagine their life without you and i, I know that sounds cheesy but that's I mean, we also have the Ten of Pentacles here. They cannot see you as their son and actually be able to stay away from you. Not to mention the lovers, all right? Very powerful connection here. Um, again, it feels like there's been a break here and this person is doing a lot of healing because of that. I feel like there's a lot that they're realizing about the connection. A lot of truths are being shown to them. Let me clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The King.
King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Wow, I'm telling you, this, this is crazy. This person holds a lot of love for you, and not only that, they do want stability. This is not somebody who doesn't want to have a commitment with you. Okay, so, I mean, I, I really feel like the problem is needing to put in more effort. And for whatever reason, and the reason is going to be different for all of you, it could even be an effort when it comes to communication. Like being able to, to communicate in a way that is going to be practical and functional. Um, I almost get that this person, I don't know, maybe you're dealing with another fire sign. Uh, because I get that this person is just easily, easily distracted, maybe, by, by conflicts. It's like they have a hard time handling disagreements and conflicts. Or at least that's what's happening at the moment. Because they, they definitely have a lot of love for you. They definitely want a commitment with you. Uh, that's not the issue here. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles for the near future. Okay, so here it is. The, the Page of Pentacles... The Six of Wands and Temperance. Okay, wow. This is, I, I feel like this is actually exactly the solution to the issue. This is a very positive reading, Aries. Um, I do see this person coming in, really trying to put in that effort. I do also get, though, that it is taking a little bit of time for them to do that. I feel like this is something that they have to learn how to do. Um... And again, it feels like for many of you, it's going to be a communication issue. Not knowing how to handle misunderstandings, not knowing how to communicate something clearly, not knowing how to resolve something clearly. And, you know, because the thing is, is that in relationships, it is a given that we're not going to agree on everything. It is a given that there's going to be conflict. It is a given that there are going to be arguments and that there are going to be misunderstandings. What matters is how do we discuss it? How do we argue? And I feel like that is something that this person is learning and maybe you have even helped them or maybe you're helping them to learn how to actually have a conversation where, okay, you know what, like no matter what the disagreement is, we can resolve this, we can figure this out. And this is what I see happening. It's just taking a little bit of time, but it's going to be successful. All right, and that is going to bring some balance into this connection. Let's see the page of cups for the potential outcome here. All right, we have the Empress and we have the Five of Swords. So I feel like, yeah, you know, the, the potential outcome here is that there can be this heart-to-heart -heart conversation and really learn how to communicate from the heart while at the same time showing compassion, okay, to each other. Because with the Five of Swords here, this could be a lack of that and wanting to be right, um, you know, letting ego get in the way. And so I do feel like this is more of a message for... For you watching this video that yes this this communication can happen from the heart just you know be mindful of being compassionate being compassionate and being patient for somebody if they are showing the effort okay if they are trying not everybody knows exactly how to handle conflict that doesn't mean you should let somebody walk all over you either okay this could also be a message do not let somebody walk all over you, manipulate you, take advantage of you, okay? But if that's the case, I don't feel like this is your reading anyway to begin with because I don't see that energy from this person. I see it more of needing to learn how to communicate effectively. All right, so Aries. If this resonated, let's get a final oracle message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. <clears throat> and let me know what sign you're dealing with. All right, and we have new moon. A new start is coming. So yeah, I mean, I definitely see 
a lot of progress being made here even if it's happening a little bit slowly and this is going to bring a new like a new flavor to this connection all right one with more honest and more productive communication all right aries those were your messages thank you so much for watching much love